So this problem became really, really challenging. And I went right back to my hexagon and thinking like a elementary school teacher, I remembered that all my green little pattern blocks made up a hexagon and each of my little pattern blocks were equilateral triangles and each equilateral triangle had an angle of 60. And in this case, I know every side is the same. So in my hexagon, every outside is six and all of my other angles are 60, which is okay because then in my hexagon, my big angles are still 120. Um, but if I want to know the area of just one of these little triangles, I still need, I have a base, which is great. I need to know what that height is. I need to know what that X is. So I couldn't recreate everything, but um, I wrote it out just so I didn't have to remember it on the fly. So I just took this one triangle and brought it here to think about what I knew. And yes, it is still a 30, 60, um, 90 triangle. Um, and I knew that one side, all the sides are six, but I knew that I can kind of make a right triangle and play with that because I remember my Pythagorean theorem very well. Um, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. So what I decided to do was if I split this in half, I know that this whole side used to be six, but now it's just going to be half of that. It's just going to be three. Um, and just so you can see my notation, I really want to know what this side is. I know that this side is six. And I know that this side is going to be three because it's half of that. So this is where I started going. I knew that half of my hypotenuse, that bottom side squared plus the height I don't know makes my hypotenuse squared. So I just started working with my exponents. Um, I got rid of the half and just put h squared over four plus x squared equals h squared. Um, I decided to move the sucker over to isolate my x squared on its own. Um, h squared minus h over 4 squared and when I subtract that I was thinking like well 1 times minus a fourth I'd have 3 fourths so I have 3 fourths x squared um, I decided to just deal with all these squares and just find the square root of everything so I have x on one side square root 3 because it's not a perfect square over 2 times x um, times h and here I just started going with notation I wanted to try and move that to over 2x is equal to um, the cube, well, square root of 3 of the hypotenuse. And this is where I just started to put my numbers in. I still don't know what the height is, but I know that the hypotenuse is 6. And when I multiply that out with a calculator, I get 10.32. 2x is equal to 10.32. So my height has to be um, 5.1. So now that I have that, and that was all algebra, um, I wanted to play with ratios and using uh, sine and cosine I actually did make some headway with that um, but I also thought about different types of things I knew how to do and getting a quick answer and I'll explore a little bit more later so for this triangle if I know my base is six I'm just gonna do my six times 5.1 and get 30.6 divided by two so one little triangle it has an area of 15 and 3 tenths units. And I can take that and just multiply it by 6 because they're 6 all the way around. So 15 by 6 because I want to just play with my numbers anyway. Um, and I did my doubling so it's the same thing as 30 by 3 and I'll get 90. And then 3 tenths times 6 um, is one point. So I know my area for this part is 91 and 8 tenths units. Um, and that was just my work for figuring out that missing side, that missing height of one little triangle to figure out the area of my entire triangle.